A little while back we did a video on pull sensors and we did a few tests in that video. One of them being the test in the expansion tank on the cooling system to check whether we were getting a head gasket problem. So on the expansion stroke, the power stroke of the engine, the idea is that is if, if you've got a leaking head gasket, you will be able to measure those pulses in the cooling system. Now, we did the test on a good vehicle and we had some pulses, okay? Now, there were a few suggestions as to what those pulses were. Um, a few people suggested that it could be the cylinder walls actually expanding and flexing on the power stroke, causing those fluctuations in pulse. Another person suggested that it could be the engine speed. So, um, as the engine goes on every power stroke, the speed increases and they were suggesting that that could be seen in the expansion tank. So what we're going to do today is perform the test again, take the belt off and see what we think it is. Okay, so PicoScope is running. I've got the little Rocky pull sensor. I quite like this little tool at the minute. And this is an ore tool, uh, like a bung. It's supposed to be used with the smoke tester, okay? So all we're going to do is push that onto there. And it doesn't have to be a brilliant seal for this to work. We'll go inside the expansion tank and we're just going to pop that on there. Let's start the engine and see what we get. Okay, I'm just going to bring the voltage down a bit. There we go. I'm going to stop it there and turn the engine off. Okay, so we've got some test results here now. If we just scroll back through here, we can see these are the pulses that we're looking at, okay? So this is a fine engine, okay? There's, there's nothing wrong with it as far as I know. And what we're looking at here is the pulses that are being picked up inside the expansion tank. Now, the idea is that if you had a uh, cylinder head gasket problem on the power stroke of the cylinder that was faulty with the broken gasket, you would see a spike in the pulse, okay? And this would indicate that you've got a problem. However, we're trying to investigate why we get pulses when there isn't an issue. So this is our uh, known good. We will take a, a reference of this so we can compare it to the next one. Uh, let's just go for a red there. And I will save this waveform. You can go and find this waveform in the free access area of the Mechanic Mindset training site. Okay, so let's take that belt off and see what we get. Okay, so let's run the scope. Wow, okay. So we get a very similar waveform. So what you can see there is that we're still getting those pulses and they are pretty much you know, aligned with what we had before. We haven't got a trigger on this, so, you know, we're not, we're not lining them up. However, we haven't got this kind of waving up and down, okay? So, it does seem that these pulses are being created by something other than the fluctuations in engine speed. So, I would be really interested to know what you think, so let me know in the comments below.